Hello everyone. Welcome back again on Latilidi Tutorials. This is episode 5 in the title, What can be created by using the blend tool. And today we will make an abstract design like this. For those of you who are new to this channel, you can check out other videos here. And it's good for you to subscribe and turn on the bell sign so that you can get updates on every new uploaded videos. There are many possibilities in creating a creative graphic using only the blend tool. And this is the fifth episode, and I will continue to make more videos about other possibilities, just by using the blend tool, and combining it with other tools. So don't forget to subscribe. So without any further ado, let's jump into Adobe Illustrator. First, make a document. And make sure to size the artwork using HD size for more picture quality. First, I made the background to make it easier for us to see results and differences. I only use flat dark blue with hex color code 070362. Because we are done with the background, and because we no longer need to add anything else. So, we should lock it, to avoid accidents when working with objects. There are two ways to lock the background. The first is by locking objects by locking layers. This is the most I do in the previous tutorials. This method is easier and faster and we excessively organize objects with layers. After the layer is locked, all objects in that layer cannot be edited anymore. Even just to be selected. On this layer, we cannot create a new object until the lock is open. Or, we have to create a new layer to place other objects. And by creating several layers we can organize objects easily. For example, putting other object elements in different layers. The second way is to go to the object menu. Lock. But first, we must choose an object that we will lock. The function of the lock here is to allow us to be free to lock one or more objects that are in one layer. For example, we still want to add graphic elements to the background layer. But, we don't want to touch or disrupt the object we previously made. So, we just need to lock the selected object and start working with the new object. Even like that, this method still has advantages, and disadvantages, in my opinion. We can freely lock several objects one by one. But, we cannot unlock objects one by one, because in the object menu there is only, unlock all. So, when we have locked several objects. But, I only want to unlock one object. That cannot be done, and we are perforce to unlock all. And lock objects one by one again. And this is just my personal experience so far working with Adobe Illustrator. So, the point that I want to say is don't get stuck using just one method. Because there are still other ways or techniques that are more suited to our needs. Because these ways have advantages, and disadvantages. Okay, now we continue our session. After the blue rectangle or background has been locked, we go to the next step, which is to make three separate wavy lines, which will then be blended. This step has the same process with the previous episode, where we create some wavy lines using the pen tool. But in this episode we created several different lines, whereas in the previous episode we only created one line, then duplicated it. In the previous episode one also explained the trick in creating smooth and dynamic wavy lines. Basically, when you want to make a smooth curve, you have to make the direction of the handle has the same direction as the others. So that it can produce smooth curved lines. For the wavy line, you can make it not the same as what I made, but all three lines have different curves. After the three lines are finished, it's time to blend them. But before that, the three lines must be adjusted so that they are close together. Or, it can also be set automatically using the Align tool, so that the position can be centered vertically and horizontally. After you already feel the position is right, now you can give color to them. Coloring can be done before, or after the blending process. But if you haven't determined the right color for them, you can make it after the blending process is complete. So, you can mix and match colors precisely. For the color, I have made three colors to be applied to the design. You can see the color codes in the description. But first, I want to give them a thickness of 5 points. So, that the blend will not have distance. Because in some cases, when bending a curved line, the result still shows distance, even though the distance has been set to the lowest number in the blend option. For the first line, I gave it red. 
The second line I gave it blue, and for the last line I give the same color as the first one. And after being colored, select the blend tool in the toolbar, then select one by one the three wavy lines to blend them. Another way to blend objects is that we can go directly to the object menu. Blend. And make. And that is an automatic way to blend object. Okay, our first blended object is complete. But there is still another blended object that we will create. If you pay attention to the design we want to make, there is one more object behind. But this one has a distance. So it seems there are some lines that make up the waves. The process is the same as before. You just need to make two different wavy lines, give it color. And then blend it. Adjust the position backward, so that it is behind the first object. Right click, arrange, and send backward. Send backward function is to change the position of an object one level behind the object behind it. After that, we just need to make the last graphic element, which is a graded circle. This step is the easiest because we just need to make a few circles which are then given a gradient color. And the color matches the color on the line that was blended earlier. And the last step is, we just need to make a clipping mask, so that objects that exceed the limits of the artboard can be hidden. Just create a rectangle following the size of the artboard. Select all existing objects. Right click, and click, make clipping mask. And here we are. We have completed the process of making abstract background graphic design using the blend tool. I hope this video can be useful for you who watch this video. And hopefully this video can be inspiring and helpful. Please subscribe, like, or share this video to help this channel grow. Or if you have questions, or else, about the contents of this video, you can comment below.